it's honestly so cold oh my god i feel like my lips are blue from frozen blueberries i'm gonna try and like get the blue off my lips <clears throat> moderate snow ice warning hi guys it is um saturday the 10th of december and yes it is so cold in my room i am sat with my blanket on, I literally only have one long sleeve top, which is really kind of bad. Um, so I did wear this yesterday and I have it on again, but um, I needed an extra layer. I have this and then this t-shirt I'm putting a jumper on. But yeah, today I'm basically going climbing, so bouldering with Em and Dan, who I usually go with. But I'm also taking along a friend. Sarah is coming. So Sarah is like my oldest friend from school. She's like... The first best best friend like I ever had. I don't think she's done indoor climbing before. I'm not too sure, but it's really fun to bring new people along. And in theme with like this year's vlogmas, you know, like working on ourselves before the new year, I am always thinking about how I can be like a better friend. As I've spoken about before, like I've never been in like a long term friendship group, and I would say that I've found like my closest friends later in life except from like sarah who i met at school like most of my really close friends and i have a very small handful of close close friends i've met them later in life so like i met michaela for example really randomly through netball me and lukina through tutoring i met izzy at uni and then i've got traveling friends and stuff and i mean i have like quite a few connections and i mean social media and the internet and stuff is so amazing now because you can connect with people all over the world and say so when i've met people traveling i've been able to stay in contact with them but i am a firm believer in having like a very small circle of close close friends and it's those relationships that i really want to you know preserve and work on because a relationship like any relationship whether it be a romantic relationship or like a friendship or one with like your family members and your family it's a two-way thing like it's never and it shouldn't be like a one-sided thing but yeah one thing i'm really bad at sometimes i mean i've definitely improved probably thanks to michaela who always goes on at me when i don't reply to her messages like i used to be so bad at responding and obviously replying to a message sometimes it's just like you know it doesn't even take very long to reply you should just do it immediately but if i want to reply i don't just want to send something completely meaningless you know so yeah i've basically been really bad at messaging in the past and can sometimes be awful like at the moment i'm like oh my gosh i should have replied to a friend and i didn't yesterday and i just realized this and i was so annoyed at myself and like as you come out of school and university when you're not say surrounded with your friends every single day you do have to put in that work it becomes even more important to you know arrange things arrange calls arrange to meet up and do things with your friends and so i feel like for next year maybe what we could all do is arrange to see our friends you know at some point like get something in the diary and i especially want to do this before like i go away i want to see a lot of my friends and do stuff with them because yeah as i said i think you have to do stuff you have to initiate things but then it does have to be a two-sided thing as well so if you are in a friendship and it's very one-sided like maybe it is worth having a conversation with them but as i said i am not an expert in the field of friendships i have spoken before quite a bit about like social anxiety and i feel like that's maybe why i've never been in a friendship group even though i'm very comfortable with my close close friends and when i know i'm with close friends like i can just be myself entirely i don't have to hide anything and i feel like super safe with my closest friends and i can just do anything say anything and you have to think like if someone is your close friend you would feel okay opening up about pretty much anything really if you have really close friends you wouldn't be afraid to reach out if you were in an awkward situation or a tough situation and you needed advice i talk to my close friends about literally anything you know like i went and saw mia in lukina in switzerland really recently and we literally had the deepest of conversations about like the craziest stuff but it's so good to have those conversations like the kind of tmi girl talks is what i'm referencing basically and you know like when mia and i went lake swimming and afterwards we were just getting changed in this like forest thing we both just literally stripped off out of our bikinis and so we were like basically naked but like those are the close friends in your life they are the people you will do anything with as i said and talk about you know goodness knows what but yeah where was i going with that mm -hmm. coming back to this idea of 
friendship groups. That's where I started this conversation and then we went off on a tangent. I've definitely come out of my shell a lot more, but I do have a bit of social anxiety for sure still that will sometimes come out. So yeah, that's what I'd say about like friendships. As I said, like you have to cherish those that mean a lot to you. Um, but you know, you can have like the bestest of friends that you don't really talk to that often But then when you do see each other or you speak to each other like it's as if nothing had ever changed or no time had passed Um, which is also a really cool thing about close friendship and if you are looking to find new friends You have to just do things you have to engage in social activities that you enjoy So whether it's running and you want to go to park runs like that is where you're gonna meet people or if you're gonna go to like, I don't know, a gymnastics class or like a pottery class. It's how you meet people and you have to obviously be kind of confident and bold. You can meet people online obviously these days, you just have to be a bit more careful. I've met a lot of friends as well through like traveling. I enjoy different things with different people, but I would still say that I do have things in common with those I am friends with because I think having common ground and finding common ground and having similar interests is what helps build a relationship but yeah as i said today is a day where i am seeing sarah i'm calling viola actually um but yeah she's currently in um malaysia right now she's all over the place we just need a big catch up so i'm calling her and then i need to leave in like 45 minutes i'd say to get to the train station to meet sarah to get my ticket so yeah i actually though want to go and show you guys mom's advent um i've done my hair in this low bun again i'm sorry we will see the curls at some point but yeah because we're climbing i thought i may as well just like slick it back minnie is it warm on your bum why are you sitting there these are the advents of the day well every fifth day we could say these are little elves as you can see look santa's elves santa's elves and they have inside a filling. Oh, really? Himalayan salted caramel. Himalayan so salted caramel. Oh, wow. Himalayan, yes. And then we have something inside the little pot. Is it edible? Sweets? <gasps> oh, another one. <laughs> and oh, colas and cherries. Look. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, thank you very much, Mum. Sweets, would you like one? No, that's why I had some Mmm. 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 Oh, wow. They're good, aren't they? I know. Mmm. Is they good? I didn't realise they were going to be that good. It tastes like, um. Himalayan. No. What's the Cadbury's. The Cadbury's bar with the. Gooey stuff in it. What's that called? Cadbury's. Cadbury's do a. Is that yellow? Oh, cream is. No. Cadbury's caramel bar. Mmm. Dairy milk caramel. Cadbury's dairy milk caramel. It tastes like that. Mmm. Mmm. The filling tastes like that. They're from Aldi. Aldi do some good stuff in it. Look. Yeah. Look, filled with vegan pink. Oh, vegan pink Himalayan salted caramel. Whoa. Get yourselves to Aldi. Have you moved, Milka? Literally, Milka has been finding herself in the strangest of places. Like, she's in all of the cupboards. She was in the microwave yesterday. I'm gonna insert the picture that mom took of her in the microwave. She sits on the radiators. Um, I don't even know. I think she's trying to find like warm spots. Sorry, Milka. <gasps> Where am I going? So one of the easiest things you can do to catch up with friends is obviously to jump on a call with them and it's something you can just so easily organize. I mean sometimes it's harder than it sounds and it should just be a simple thing to do but I always love it when I can phone my friends and video call them just to catch up but yeah as I said I was then meeting Sarah and this didn't really go to plan because I was speaking to Viola for so long but yeah I did eventually make it to the station so Sarah and I could get the train so that we could go to climbing where we'd meet Em and Dan. We are at the climbing gym. Sarah is there. This video is all about friends as well. And I've been a bad friend. Well, I was talking to Viola and then a 15 minute conversation came like, 
a half an hour, 45 minute conversation. So basically, I was late to the train station and we missed the train and Sarah was on the platform and I felt really bad and... Yeah, but it was okay, because then you were there. So it's just like... I know. We it would have been worse if I was on my own. I know, we had a lot to catch up on. We still have a lot to catch up on. Where are they? But anyway, we're at the climbing gym and Sarah is trying to for the first time. For the first time, yeah. Yeah, I know, you excited? I am excited. Where are they? We've lost our instructors. But anyway, this is the gym that we normally come to. That's called the trapeze. You go sideways. It's called the traverse, not the trapeze. Sorry, I just had to say that. But this is where we're starting, okay? <laughs> I am definitely not an expert in bouldering, but I would highly recommend doing this with a friend, even if you've never done it before. It's such a fun way to like move your body and feel really mentally stimulated because it has a really good problem solving aspect to it, but it's also so fun and social at the same time. Do you want to say hi to the vlog group? Hi. Hi to the vlogmas vlog. Freezing in this gym, that's why we're wearing loads of layers. But anyway, I'll let you know what we do, what we get up to. Come on, push, 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 push. Yes! Hey! Yes! <laughs> Woo! She did it! Honestly, there are so many things you can do with your friends and I always love trying new stuff with friends especially. So some of the things I love for example are climbing as I said. I recently went to London to a place called Fair Game which was in one of my vlogs. It's like an indoor fun fair type thing. It's honestly so cool. Oh dude you are like so good. That's so good. I do though just really love the simple things like inviting a friend around to cook together or bake something or catching up in a coffee shop to grab something to drink or go and find your new favorite place to try food like the simple things as i said can always be so good this is a good part right this is so good i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it Thank you for letting me try this. It's very nice. It's beautiful. But yeah, I need to say, you guys, this salted caramel trek bar flavor. Oh my gosh. I think it's my favorite one that I've ever tried. It was just so good. So shout out to James, who is one of Dan's friends, who let me try it. But there were actually five of us there together climbing today. So myself and Sarah, Em and Dan, and then their friend James. And as I said, it's always just so social. Although I always do come away feeling defeated by the wall because there is always at least one climb that I attempt so many times and I can never fully complete it. Come on. Come on, just a big swing. Ah. Oh. You should just try that move on its own. Come on, just swing. Just pop. Come on, come on. No. I didn't even try. No. <laughs> come on, just push the leg, push the leg, come on, come on, come on. Uh, you're reaching for the further one though, right? Can you see the breath? I think you can see your breath. Can you see it? I can't see it. Did you enjoy climbing? I did. It's actually really good. I stuck to the easiest level. <laughs> no, you didn't. You did like purples and stuff, right? Yeah, I did do a yellow. Yeah, you did a yellow as well. Um, I like the pinks. Yeah. You almost fell off. I did. But it was fine. I did fall off. <laughs> oh yeah, you did fall off. <laughs> but yeah, it was but I didn't good. hurt or anything. Yeah, no, you just fall yeah, and you just shot. Mm. Uh, Emily were good supervisors. I know they're really good. They uh I mean I sometimes try and take on the coach role. I think I'm getting better, but I'm not amazing. I just enjoy it quite a bit. Apparently there's football on or something, but I'm not watching it. Yes. Was it England v France in the World Cup? Oh, so it's quite a big thing. I want to say quarterfinals, so maybe it's the semi finals, I actually don't know. Okay. <laughs> quite a big one. Yeah, quite a big game. So, yeah, but we're waiting on a very cool platform. We were there for a very long time. When you're climbing, you don't realize how long you're there for, and then like hours pass, and you're like, oh my god. Do you want to say bye to the vlog? This might be the last time you're on the vlog bye. for all time. Yeah, I know. Bye. We have not seen these pajamas in a while, right? These are the ones that make me feel literally like. Um, something else. When I get back from climbing, I feel so chalky because you get chalk everywhere. So I've just had a shower. Mum and Matthew are currently downstairs watching the football. I'm not watching the football, but I'm kind of like hearing the update. They're literally screaming and shouting at the TV. Um, it's currently one, ooh, apparently. France versus England. They're keeping me updated. I literally don't need to watch it because I'm hearing everything because mum is screaming at the screen. But yeah, I had such a good time with Sarah today. It was so nice to catch up. And obviously, 
take Sarah climbing. I think she really enjoyed it. It is really fun and such a social thing to do. As I said before, like when I'm with close friends, I feel like I can be myself, I feel safe and I can open up about anything. But like when you come away from being with really close friends, you just feel so like energized. Obviously this is not correct physically, like it defies one of the physics laws. But like I feel like I create energy when I see friends and I'm with friends that are really close to me and that mean a lot to me. I feel so alive and just so happy and I haven't come away feeling at all drained. Like if you are spending time with people and you feel drained every time you see them, then maybe they're not your close friends or maybe they're not your type of people like entirely sort of thing. I am sometimes very chaotic and disorganized when it comes to organizing things with friends and messaging sometimes. As I said, I do always try to work on my friendships i want to be a really good friend and be there for my friends but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and the chat at the start of the video about friendships um i'd love to hear your kind of like experiences or your thoughts if you have anything to add obviously but yeah i think we're gonna end the video here definitely as always i like the video if you did enjoy watching it comment down below subscribe if you're new and hit the bell so you know when it upload and as always i'll speak to you tomorrow i hope you had a good day morning wherever you are in the world and yeah as always i'll speak to you very soon in another video bye it's called the what's it called traverse oh my god oh my god it's below minus degrees below minus degrees hello can i even talk get some elves from the shelves <laughs> I feel so chalky when I get back from traveling. Traveling? No, not traveling, Holly. What is that? Hmm, it's so freaking cold. My lips actually look so blue. I need to actually go and try and like get this off. One six. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> What's up with my voice? Oh, it's honestly so so cold. Uh, I still haven't put a jumper on, and I'm freezing. Look at my red socks. You can go pop yeah, it. Yeah, I'll do one. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>